Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. My name is Paul and as you know, I'm a big Caveco fan. Because I love Caveco so much and mostly the model sport, sometimes I also have some other items for review. And this is the case of this Perkeo. And this Perkeo, this Caveco Perkeo is not a fountain pen, it is a rollerball. And I don't make reviews of those very often, but I have this one and I will do it now. I think it will be a shorter video. So, first, how does it present itself? It comes inside this plastic sleeve, very simply. It has the name, the, the code of the pen there. And it says here on the sleeve, just write it. You take this out, so you have just write it and Caveco. And here you have. This is the Caveco Perkeo Rollerball of the color Breezy Teal. This is a very interesting color that, he, that was released in 2021. It was released together with three other Caveco Perkeo colors. And those were, the other ones I have are fountain pens, not rollerballs. They, those were the all clear, this one has ink inside, but it is all clear, even the feed, here it is green because the it is filled with green ink, but all clear again. We have the jungle green, which is green, also the section, all of the same color, and the peony blossom also all of the same color but pink. So these are the colors that were released this year. Both or all of them were released as fountain pens and as ballpoint pens. Uh, sorry, as rollerball. So what's about this rollerball? This pen reminds us of a Caveco Sport in the cap. So what we have, we have an octagonal shaped cap which means it has eight facets. In one of the facets it says Caveco, not Caveco Sport, but Caveco Germany. On the top it has, it has a logo, the same kind of logo. I'll bring here a Caveco Sport of the Caveco collection, Cyan. You'll see that the logo is the same and the cap looks to be almost the same. Even if the Caveco Perkeo is a longer pen, the cap is smaller, is shorter but it is also an octagonal cap. Then you have the barrel, which is also faceted, but it has 16 facets instead of being round. Then it has some breather hole there, if you... Because this is a school pen, it is to avoid any children to suffocate if they try to eat the pen, uh, to swallow the pen, and also there is that hole around the logo on the top. So 16 facets, it tapers down a little bit towards the end. It is a full-size pen. When you uncap it, you have a triangular shape to guide your fingers. In fact, this is the same kind of shape you will find on the fountain pens. But if it makes sense in the fountain pen, because it will guide you the right way to put the tip of the pen on the paper. In a rollerball, it doesn't make that much sense because it doesn't matter if you hold it like this or like this or like this. So there is no real use for that. But I think they just use the same kind of molding for both parts and that's why it's like this. The cap clicks in place and clicks very securely. You can easily post the pen, but it doesn't post very securely. You have to force it a little bit and then it will be more securely, but you can see it goes from one part to the other, so the better is not to use it posted. And you don't need to use it posted because it is a large pen, large enough. When you look at it, you let's compare just with a Parker Centennial Lufthul, which is a big pen, this is a fountain pen, and with a Lamy Safari, and it is of the same size, so you will not have any problems of, about holding this pen. 
I don't have many other rollerballs to show you comparison, so that's it. So here you have the pen. The you can access the the refill by unscrewing, and you find some extra force when you're starting, extra, extra resistance, and then it gets free and it's easier to unscrew. That's kind of nice because it makes it more secure. secure. I think the first part is a little piece that catches there and makes it uh, a little tighter. You have this kind of refill, which is marked Caveco, and this one is made in Japan and it is a 0 0.7 so an interesting refill I would say because it's marked both which is fun Germany and Japan you put it back here and you have your rollerball point a uh, uh, rather rollerball pen ready to write I showed you the, the other pens of this series of 2021, but there were already some others and I don't think I have all of them. So there were, uh, yes, there is at least one that I don't have. There were many other colors of the Perkeo. Uh, the first edition had these mixed colors like uh, strange yellow and black or red, white and blue. These ones are more a single color, but also an older version that was released was this one, this one is the all black, which I think is a very nice match to the all clear. Now, just let me compare it with the Kavek Sport. It is larger, this one has a click on place cap, this one is a screw cap. This is the color of the cyan, this is the color of the breezy teal, which is more on the teal side of color. So that makes sense. Another thing that I want to say is the caps are very similar. The cap on the Perkeo is a little broader or larger, but uh, girthier, that's what I meant. And you can get extra clips if you want to. You, you can, these are sold separately. You can buy a clip and Although this cap is a little bit girthier, you can still force, because you can see these, okay, this can scratch a little bit the pen, of course, doing that, but when you force it, you can see it, the clip opens a little bit and you can force the clip into the pen and now you have the pen with a clip. Do you really need that? I don't think so, because it doesn't fit as tight as in the sport. You can see all the facets doesn't align that well, because it is larger. It will easily slip out. But if you like the kind of feeling of having a clip, not for... I would say it's not secure, because it may fall, but you can do it if you just like the looks of it with the clip. Now, just for the writing sample, I don't have much to show because this pen is not a, a fountain pen, there is not a lot to test. So let me just use this. This is the... Oops. This is the Caveco. I have some burlap background fibers that were on top of the tip. So this is the Caveco Perkeo Breezy Teal with 0 0.7 point and it is a black refill and the paper is usual Rhodia dot pad. Of course you will not have any line variation. This is a rollerball. The line is very consistent. It doesn't skip. It doesn't fail. Let me just see 
if it smears yes it may smear if it's not dry enough but after dried it doesn't smear anymore let me just write here a little bit So, after all these writing tests, I would say the pen is very, very smooth. Uh, if you hold it in a more horizontal, horizontal kind of line, it, will, it may fail a little bit, but if you hold it a little bit more uh, in an angle, more like 45 degrees angle or to from 30 to 45 I would say, uh, not, not Celsius, just degrees, it will be better to, to write. Sometimes you can feel a little bit of scratching but you feel that in some roller balls. But overall it is a nice smooth writing experience. One thing that I notice myself is that my very ugly handwriting gets worse when I don't write with fountain pens. However, this is great to know that there is an option similar to the fountain pens that you can buy and this is available in both writing styles so you can buy the fountain pen and the matching rollerball but again I would say that what really matters is the fountain pen. So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to meet you soon here on the channel. Bye!